Welcome, everybody. This is the Life Enthusiast Online Radio and TV Network, Restore Vitality to You and to the Planet. I'm your co-host, Scott Patton, ca- uh, calling in. And uh, because of the internet and the way we live in this great old world, I'm in Turkey right now. And joining us, as usual, is Martin Patella, the uh, health coach at Life Enthusiast. Hey, Martin, how are you doing today? Doing good, thank you. Of course, I'm stuck in my home, in my office, having to hold the gates here, you traveler, you. Oh. <laughs> I want to swap places. So we're going to be talking about whole body vibration today. And that's uh, really a fascinating subject because we've talked before about rebounders and bouncing up and down. But now we're going to be uh, taking it sort of one step further. And to uh, join us today to help us understand whole body vibrations are, why it's important that we be moving our body in different ways, is Todd Wilkinson of Vibratrim. Hey, Todd, how are you doing? Good, Scott. Thanks so much. Good to be here. I'm also like Martin Jealous. I'd like to be in Turkey now, too. So I'll just live vicariously through you for a little bit today. Awesome. Okay, so the first question is, is what is whole body vibration? It's a really good question. It's, it's actually a technology that's been around for a long time, Scott. Um, even uh, way back in the days, back into the ancient times, they used some type of vibration to uh, create some sort of biological or physiological response. Uh, Kellogg, the guy that made the cornflakes, even had an entire chair that vibrated that he believed was going to help people with their uh, mental issues and sort of shake symptoms them, I suppose. Uh, the Russians have a lot of credit for developing it into more of a sort of a legitimate science uh, for the cosmonauts so that when they went out into space that they wouldn't end up with muscles that were sort of like limp noodles when they came back. And so uh, since the 60s, it's been sort of um, gone through a little bit of a, uh, a metamorphosis. There's different types of motors, but the idea is, like we have these three platforms we'll talk a little bit more about today, uh, there's different motors in there that you stand on. And you mentioned rebounders. One of the great things about whole body vibration is that it's very good for lymphatic drainage, which rebounders are also. The, the difference between a rebounder and a whole body vibration platform is that the rebounder, you get out what you put into it. So if you don't have the energy or you got a bad knee or you got a bad hip and you can't be bouncing on it, it's very difficult with the rebounder to get that impact or to get the lymphatic drainage. With the whole body vibration platform, you can just stand on it and the machine will actually do the work for you and it's essentially moving or vibrating your body to elicit those same responses. So it's, uh, it's a great technology for anybody from senior citizens uh, who are going through some sort of rehab, maybe people who have been out of shape for a long time looking for a gateway to get back into shape but it's also used by a lot of professional sports teams. So you can be as gentle with it as you want to, or you can be as extreme with it as you want to. Yes, when you're jumping up and like jump up and down the rebounders, you're, you're sort of stretching out your, your spine and you're also compressing it. Are you, uh, are you going to be compressing your spine? And, Cause that's a, that's an issue. Some people have bad backs. Yeah. Well, the, the machines that we use are, there's two different motors in there. And so, there's an oscillation motor, so it's going up and down like a seesaw or like a teeter-totter. And as that's happening, imagine that your hips are going up and down. You bend your knees, and so your muscles are expanding and contracting at the same rate that that machine is going up and down. So it's very good for, for muscle toning without putting impact on your spine or on your joints. So for people that do have bad backs, it's a great way to get that sort of energy or exercise that they can't otherwise. The second motor is a spiral motor. So there's a, a motor attached right to the center of the platform. There's a little pin that goes up and on that pin there's a counterweight that's spinning in circles really quick. So that's creating a spiral vibration. Imagine if you put a stick in a body of water and you start turning it in circles, eventually you create this spiral motion that goes out further and further. So that's the spiral motion that's more like a massage as opposed to the oscillation, it's more like a, a, a mini exercise or a workout, if you will. So they're very good for increasing bone density, for muscle toning, for lymphatic drainage without putting that extra wear and tear on the spine or on the hips or the knees. Yeah, I see it as a great simulation to the uh, walking on uneven ground. You know, the uh, walking on a city sidewalk is nice, but it 
it does it doesn't really do much for the core muscles whereas right. where you're uh, doing this subtle, subtle movement off center that really puts a gentle but and significant effort on the core muscles around the spine that holds us together right yeah absolutely one of the first things that i notice when i get on it is that your core just starts to get more engaged and it's very good at balance uh, all those proprioceptors, all the connective tissue, all the muscles that you normally don't think about um, engaging, it's doing a great job of, of uh, really engaging all those muscles and increasing the circulation and helping to bring fresh oxygenated blood back to those cells that really need it. So it's a really strong way to, uh, to get the exercise, especially if somebody's been sedentary for a long time and you know it's very hard with bad weather or Daylight savings getting dark late or earlier in the day, so you don't want to go outside walking. Uh, it's a very convenient and very effective way to get great exercise, uh, in particular for muscle tone and for balance as well. Good. Yeah, I, I think that it's also really useful for people who are in a rush, people who don't have a lot of time to invest in their exercise, right? Like, yeah. If you need an if you need an hours of walking a day to keep your lymphatic system going. You can probably get that movement in faster on the on the uh, vibration machine. Yeah, and the other thing is you can be um, as much as you're not supposed to be a multitasker. Um, I took a, a meditation class one time, and they were sort of joking about that the real goal is to become a supreme unitasker. Just do one thing at a time and do it really well. Well, that's true, but in this case. Usually what I do is the first thing in the morning, even before I get a cup of coffee, I wake up, wash my face, brush my teeth, make my bed, and then without even thinking about it, I just stand on the platform for 10 minutes and I just turn it on. And usually I'm checking my email, look at what's happening with our Facebook page, or respond to any voicemails, literally just while I'm standing on there. So it's 10 minutes that I would probably waste doing something else, but in that same amount of time, my body has gotten the equivalent of like going to the gym and, and working out for 35 to 40 minutes. So I'm usually doing it two or three times a day. I usually start the morning with that and just jump on it without even thinking about it. It's just become a habit, like the very first thing that I do. And so at that point, I'm using uh, both motors. So I'm getting all that muscle tone, all the, the, the muscles are engaging, which is then putting the stress on the bones. We can talk more about bone density. Um, but it's just a great way to do it, and it's a very convenient and effective way to get the same sort of exercise you could go out and do it. But like you just said, Mark, you would have to go out and spend you know two hours a day working out for the same amount of exercise you could get on these in 30 minutes during the day, and you never have to leave your house. Indeed. Awesome. So why do you have three different types? Uh, well, that's a great question. So this, uh, so this is a brand new one. This is our baby. This is called the VT Mini, um, and it's got the same technology. And it took us a while to get a motor or a machine that had both motors that would have the oscillation and the spiral to be able to be in a small, compact machine like this. So we have a lot of people that like to have two machines. So maybe they have a bigger machine at their home. Uh, but they like to have another one, either some people have a second home where they have a smaller space, a smaller apartment uh, for kids in dorms or people put them in their RVs. Um, so it's a very lightweight and portable machine, but it's still got really powerful motors. So it's got a thousand watt oscillation motor, the one we have here, and a 500 watt spiral motor. And what's nice about this machine is it's the only one that I know of that has the ability for both of those machines or both of those motors to operate simultaneously. So it's really nice, it's got a great remote control. This is the one when I was saying I get up every morning. I usually just hit start. This is how my day starts. I just hit this and I put both motors on 10. And I don't have my cell phone, but if I did, imagine this is my cell phone. This is usually how I wake up in the morning. It's just flipping through it and just stand here for 10 minutes. And I feel so energized after those 10 minutes, it really has become like my cup of coffee. I know a lot of you and Martin, you understand a lot of the uh, in Chinese medicine around, around the meridians that you have going through your body with qigong and, and qi channels, as they say. The way I sort of describe it is that when, uh, when you're sleeping, 
all of the chi in your body sort of becomes like a cool blue or almost a white color. It's very quiet. It's very sedated. Uh, it's very serene. And then when I stand on this, I sort of describe it as if somebody's holding on to my ankles and shaking it so that all of my meridians start to glow orange, so that all that chi sort of flows through your whole body. So it's a great way just to sort of get energized and then drink a big glass of water afterwards and usually do a shot of apple cider vinegar too. Awesome. I, uh, I'm impressed how quiet it is. I can't hear it over, over the mic. Is it yeah. quite quiet? Yeah, I mean, I'm standing right on top of it. I mean, it really makes uh, very little noise. And it goes, both of these machines go all the way up from zero to 60, which is roughly equivalent to hertz. So it's, you know, the frequency of the, the motor. But yeah, these all go up to 60, but this is, I'll put it all the way up to high. And you probably still can't hear it. No. So some of it has about, you can start to see now, start to bounce across the floor a little bit. So once it really gets going, you can see how my feet are moving a lot faster than that. Right. And as that's happening, each one of those cycles, you know, those muscles are expanding and contracting at that same rate that they're going up and down. So that's why it's very effective for lymphatic drainage because, as, as you know, your lymphatic system is working in the exact opposite direction of your circulatory system. Exactly. And your, your, your blood doesn't or your lymph doesn't have the benefit of the pump here pushing it with your heart out to your extremities, it's got to move upstream. So it's got to go all the way from the extremities back up to the heart to be able to move through the body. And the only way that can really happen is if those muscles are sort of um, massaging or milking it. I was always imagining kind of like milking a cow, you know, milking that lymph back up. So it's very effective. So one of the, the side effects, if there is a downside to whole body vibration, if you overdo it, you can stimulate a lot of toxins. You can release a lot of toxins and end up getting nauseous after a while. So we really encourage people to start slow. Um, but that's so the reason back to the, the mini is uh, it's portable, it's lightweight, but it's super powerful. Sort of okay. like the whole thing that they talk about is not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog, right? So this is a little dog with a big fight. Um, and then so this before one, you go, hold on. Yeah. So how heavy is that thing, actually? Uh, well, what are these, Richard? 45 pounds? 45? 40, yep, right on. Yeah, 45 pounds, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's very lightweight. I mean, it's very easy to pick up, move around. About the size it's of a medium-sized suitcase. So, All right. So, so a, yeah. uh, a, even an older, not-so-strong person could probably wrestle it around. Yeah, absolutely. And the other thing that people like this for, too, Martin, is that uh, there's zero assembly required. I mean, you take it out of the box and you basically make sure the battery is in the remote control, you plug it in and you're ready to go. Yeah. Don't you, Whereas, don't you, know, you have some, more. hold on, don't you have some straps for it? Yeah, there's straps. I don't have them in this one, but there's straps that go into these. I have them here on this rebounder. These are for the big machines. We can talk more about these with the big machines. But these are the straps that you hold on to to do the exercises to get a lot of upper body exercise. Right. Um, and they're not resistance bands, they're static. And the yeah. reason for that is, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So yeah, I just, I, yeah. Yeah, I understand them to be the resistance bands, which is great because not only do you uh, build your core strength, but you can actually build your arm, shoulder, bicep, tricep, pec, deltoid. You can really yeah, start the building the top side. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And the great thing about these, you know, Bruce Lee says he never lifted a weight. It was all static contractions. And if you ever look at Bruce Lee, the guy was ripped. Um, and so what we've done is we've created a bunch of workouts for osteoporosis and other things where you literally hold them and they are static. So the straps aren't bending, they're not moving. But imagine like if you're doing a bicep curl, your hand and your shoulder are fixed points. But the body is vibrating at the same rate that that machine's going up and down. So those muscles are firing as fast as that's going up and down. They say somewhere between 30 and 50 times a second, which is ridiculous. So you can get really sound in your upper body, your chest, your shoulders, your triceps, at the same time that your legs are getting a great workout. And that's the same regardless of the size of the machine. Right on. Okay. Understand about the uh, portable model. So that's the baby, yeah, and literally the baby, it's the newest one as well. So I guess if this is the baby, this is the mama bear. 
this is the one that we use mostly for residential. So I would say we probably the majority of them that we sell to people that are looking for a machine for home use, that they want to have some sort of handles with it and they want to have a bigger platform. This is the one that they typically go to. Um, we do have some of these that we use in some commercial applications, some different spas or fitness centers. We'll use these as well. Um, it's a little bit easier to put together. So there's just a little uh, sort of tower base that this slides on top of with six bolts that screw into the back. So it's very easy to put together. This one, and I can show and, and we can get a closer look at this on the video, but so this one you hit start and it's got the same thing. So it's got two different motors. The indication on the left side that says H is the oscillation motor that's going up and down. And then the indication on the right for the L is the spiral motor that's moving around the circle. And so this one the same way, and I'll just put this all the way up and you can hear, I don't have this balanced perfectly, but it's pretty close. But it's balanced right, it really shouldn't be shaking much going back and forth. But this is, I don't know if you can see much so it's going, definitely going up and down. And this is on 50, get it all the way up to 60. And you can see it's really getting pretty, pretty tight up and down. I mean, it's definitely, we tested it one time to see how much, if you imagine each amplitude, by the time you go from top to bottom, you do one cycle, that that's the equivalent of your body taking one step. We did a counter, the Fitbits are designed to measure distance and forward motion with the accelerometers. So there wasn't a way for us to measure how many steps. You know, everybody says you're supposed to take 10,000 steps a day or whatever the magic number is. And we couldn't find one to do that. So what we got was what's called the tap counter app on my iPhone. So I put my hand on the base and just let it touch every time it was hit, going up and down. And by that, we figured that if you did this on 60 for 10 minutes, your body would have the same physiological benefit as if you covered four and a half miles in 10 minutes, which is a pretty intense workout. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for a lot of people. Um, I've done it twice. I don't feel like I really need to do it again. It was pretty, pretty heavy duty, but you can see the difference then in the spiral motors. So that was the oscillation. And now this, you can see there's very little jostling that's going on. My body isn't, there is no sort of up and down. It's just spinning and I can feel it. It's like standing on the subway or something, you know, it's going really quick. So you can feel that vibration going. And as you move your feet closer together, further apart, then that changes the amount of um, exercise that you get because that further apart your feet are, the more that it changes where that vibration is happening. So it's an interesting way to sort of uh, vary. And again, one of the big differences between these two is the size of that platform. So you've got more surface area. So depending on if somebody is really tall or really big, uh, this also has a heavier um, weight capacity. So these small guys will hold up to a 300 pound person with no problem. These will move up to about 350 pounds. And then the bigger one, the VT500, is really designed for more sort of commercial applications, uh, professional sports teams, fitness centers, or really big people that are looking for more sort of extreme workouts. So the technology is the same in all of them with those two motors. This just has a bigger base, a bigger platform with bigger motors inside it. And then the display, you'll notice, is a little bit different also. So the display on here, um, has more sort of bells and whistles and different lights that sort of affect what it's doing. Um, but it's a really simple way to, um, to operate these on manual. And we recommend that everybody just start very low and only go for maybe four or five minutes at a time to get started on some of the lowest settings just until your body gets uh, acclimated to it. So this, this larger unit is probably big enough that you could put a chair on and uh, sit a person down on it, right? Yeah, you can put a chair, you can put a cushion. One of the things that I really enjoy about these is that um, because you can run both of the motors together, it's a great way to um, 
increased circulation at the same time you're getting muscle tone. But you can also shut off that oscillation like I showed you just on here. And it's a great way. So you can put a, a cushion, like I have a meditation cushion. So I'll put this on here, Martin, and just sit on it. And it's just a great way to get a really nice massage into your low back, into your hips. I can feel all the way up into my shoulders. And you don't have that oscillation, so you're not doing any sort of damage to your hips or to your low back. It's just this great massage that just feels really, really comfortable. And I'll get some low back pain from a high school football injury that I had. And uh, if I'm spending too much time on my feet, this just feels really good just to sort of sit back on and kind of work out all the kinks. So it's, right. um, it's also very good, you know, we're working with a lot of physicians that are using these now uh, with that spiral motor, one in particular in Washington State, who's doing a lot of work with diabetics, with neuropathy, and, you know, who have a really hard time even being able to stand and walk. So they'll literally take the wheelchair and pull the wheelchair up to it and just let them put their feet on here, just on that spiral motor, just to start increasing the circulation of nerve flow and get the blood and the lymph to start moving to do what it's supposed to be doing. We're having some really amazing results with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could just visualize myself laying down on the carpet and putting my feet, just my feet, on the platform and letting yeah. it rock that it would probably do wonders for the low back and for circulation. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And one of the things that we, we have, we provide with these is a, uh, is a wall poster uh, that comes with, uh, I think there's 20 some odd different exercises that you can do, but yeah, on those, uh, on that poster, it shows you all of, actually I have one here, I'll show you. It targets all the different muscle groups. So you can see, Exactly, based on the, the work that you're doing, if you're wanting to focus on your quadriceps or your hamstrings or your core, your abs, your side abs, you can do planks. Uh, you know, I was saying in the morning, usually what I do is I stand on this for 10 minutes, but what I really do is I stand on it for eight minutes, and then the last two minutes I do a plank, and I just get off of it, and I stick my feet out on it, and, and uh, just hold a push-up position, and let that thing, as it's going up and down, really start to work my upper body and my chest at the same time. But you can target all the different muscle groups just based on this wall chart. And this is what you were talking about, trying to get like that calf massage, lay on your back, lay on your side, uh, stretch, get your adductors, uh, all sorts of different ways, even your pecs, you can do like dips on it if you want to. So it's uh, it's really only limited by your imagination. And <laughs> Yeah, do you have this thing available in an electronic format that people could download? Yeah, we have a DVD exercises, uh, and we also have a YouTube uh, videos that have all the exercises on it as well, so this shows you exactly what to do, how long to do it. And the other thing that we do too, Mark, is that we provide custom coaching for anybody that has some machines. So you know, right. once you get it, just give us a call, and then we walk through, because everybody's different. You know, everybody, some people have a bad knee, some people have... We're looking for weight loss. Some people are, you know, got, um, you know, lymphedema. Some people have, you know, they're looking to increase bone density. So we help really get people um, set up with it. I mean, my belief is that our relationship with our customers starts at the time of the transaction. That's not the goal. That's not like the end game. So we really want to build those relationships long term. And my goal isn't just to sell the machines and then end up with having you know, expensive clothes hangers all around the country. What I want to do is, is have people really get the opportunity to spend time on these and, and have their lives be transformed, like we've seen with thousands of customers across the country with everything from increasing bone density to significant weight loss to help with Parkinson's to you name it, just anything to be able to get that energy and that vibration right. sort of happening back in the body. So how long have you guys been in business? Um, my dad started Vibrachim 12 years ago, uh, oh. and at that point, he was looking at having to have a knee and a hip replacement. Yeah. And so he went out to see what the different options were at the time. And at that point, there was the fifteen to $20,000 version, right. uh, which was out of this price range. And then there was the 250 to $300 sort of easy bake oven version that broke as soon as you took it out of the box and the manufacturer was out of business before you could get them on the phone. 
Right. So he worked on trying to create a, a little bit better mousetrap to have some better components and better ingredients, if you will, uh, that people could use at home for an affordable price. Right on. So uh, yeah. how many units uh, have you guys sold out there? Like, do you know the you know, approximate number? I would say five to six thousand, somewhere in that range. So you you pretty much know what you're doing. Like you have the bugs yeah. pretty much taken out of it, right? Yeah, I mean, it's also, Martin, why we I mean, we offer a 90-day money-back guarantee. So we've know. got three months to make sure that it's a good decision for people. I mean, sort of the golden rule, you know, treat others the way you want to be treated. If I was going to spend that much money, I would want to make sure that I was making a really good decision. I wouldn't want to be, you know, trying to make a hasty decision or feeling like I was forced to make some decision right away. I mean, it's really, it is a marathon. I mean, it's a habit change. It takes people a long time to really work with it and to be able to see the improvement. Um, and so we want to make sure they feel really comfortable with it. But we also offer a three-year warranty. So, I mean, for three years, if anything happens to it, we replace the machine. So it's not like three-year warranty on a piece of cosmetic trim or something. It's three-year warranty if anything happens to it. And so um, nice. the reason we're able to do that is that very rarely does anything happen to it. It's not just like a, a gimmicky marketing right. trick, um, right. but it's really the, the quality of the components in there that allows us to get the feedback. Yeah, and I guess the witness of that would be just how many used machines do you have on sale right now today? Used machines? Yeah. Uh, zero. Yeah, so, there's the yeah. answer. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So they don't, you know, and, and if they ever do come back, um, you know, they don't last very long. Um, and, you know, what we're trying to do, too, is, you know, our vision uh, is really to see vibration and is to really, you know, much like with Bill Gates and Steve Jobs, you know, these visions of seeing a computer in every home. You know, my vision is that there should be a vibration place in every home, every office place. It's just such a great way to take care of your own health in a very convenient, and efficient time period. Uh, yeah. That there should be whatever. I don't care if people buy them from us. That would be great. I would love that. But I just want to see it sort of as a as a modality, get a lot more respect. And so, you know, we really want to focus on, on helping uh, to encourage and to highlight the great research that's being done, uh, peer-reviewed clinical research with large groups of people done for long periods of time, um, which has been very difficult. One of the issues in, in whole body vibration is that uh, there isn't really an industry. So you've got a bunch of different manufacturers and people out there kind of all competing with each other to sell a piece of equipment, but they haven't really coalesced yet. And so one of the things that I really want to help sort of facilitate is bringing more of a common language so that uh, people understand what it is, that it starts to see more uh, research being done, more um, uh, sort of buy-in from the, the practitioners who can really see a lot of benefit from a lot of the patients as well. Um, but that's... Um, we can get into schools, you know, if you think about, yeah. you know, all the budget cuts, helping the kids where just obesity and diabetes is on the rampage. We had these kids be able to stand on this for 10 minutes when they first got to school and another 10 minutes at some point before they home went, went home at the end of the day, changed their whole life. Yes, so indeed. when we do get those machines back, we'd like to try to donate them and get them back out into the community. Uh-huh. So where do you actually assemble these? Um, well, all of the, basically every whole body vibration machine that's on the market currently uh, is either made in China or Korea, and ours are no exception. Um, right. Our um, warehouse is in Milwaukee. When my father started it, it was in Seattle, uh, and we moved it to Milwaukee just to be more centrally located, and we still had a son in high school at the time. Um, but, so we do all of the work here, so we have our shop here in the back, all of the repairs, all the maintenance, anything that ever happens. All that happens here right in the center of the country so we can get to both coast countries. Okay, great. So Todd, uh, one of the, I was just, as I was listening to you, I was thinking, wow, this would be really something that uh, could help professional sports teams. You know, you should get this out into maybe the baseball or the basketball or even the football teams. Yeah, it's a, it's a great point, Scott. But I've been working with a lot of the, the professional sports teams. I just did a, uh, a conference for a few days with the chiropractor for the Pittsburgh Steelers. We actually work with the chiropractor for the San Francisco 49ers. And a lot of the, the teams have put in a whole body vibration machine, like these big power plates, 
but most of them are just collecting dust because nobody's ever shown them what to do with it. Uh, one of the big exceptions to that is the Seattle Seahawks that actually have an entire room dedicated to whole body vibration. And, and not our machines, but um, they have an entire platform that the bench press is on. So when they're doing their bench press, that entire platform is vibrating. And so what they're, what they're showing and what they're proving, there's a lot of research that's been done around um, using whole body vibration with uh, free weights. And the studies show that it increases the effectiveness of that weight training by about 40 to 45 percent based on the, the, the type of exercise that you're doing. Because you're not just getting those major muscles that are going, you're having to get all of the other balance, every, all of those other connective tissues, all of the smaller muscles to be able to operate, to be able to get the, the clean lift. So it's, uh, it's a great opportunity, I think, and that's one of the things we want to start doing is working more and more with those professional teams to show them what to do with this. Um, a lot of the professional athletes that do it really enjoy using it before the workout just to get their body sort of loosened up. It's the same reason that a lot of chiropractors like to use these uh, to get the patient sort of relaxed before adjustments. But then they also like to use them um, after the athletes get done with a big workout or after a game because it's a great way just to not only relax and massage the muscles, but to release all that lactic acid that gets built up during the game or during the workout. So it's a great idea. Right. Although I'm, I must say I'm particularly excited about the uh, other than the professional athletes to be able to get their hands on it because yeah. it's it's the uh, I mean I'm all, all about the health benefits. We we have so many people who need help because they are less than mobile or less than perfectly mobile. They just can't do the amount of walking that their body deserves, and they can't yeah. even do the amount of bouncing that they could do on a rebounder. So they just have to be assisted, need the assistance from the equipment. And I'm, yeah. I'm just so thrilled to have access to that here. Yeah, it's, it's actually one of the reasons that we actually have the rebounder here is that I put these together. Uh, the one disadvantage of the small guy is that it doesn't have a handle. But when we put these together, we have the bar, then you can use that bar as a handle, you know, to do deep knee bends, to do squats, to hold on to it. Um, and, but it is difficult, um, you know, if, if you've been living a sedentary life, like most of us have, right? I mean, we're no longer, and haven't been for decades, right? We're, we're no longer an agrarian society. When we were, we had to be very physically fit and very physically active to be able to survive because we had to go catch our own food. We had to plant our food. We had to harvest our food. We had to know what to do with it. Well, as we've gotten more and more urban in our lifestyles and more and more sedentary, you know, we spend six to eight hours a day sitting behind a desk staring at a computer screen. And then usually we go home and sit on a couch or a chair and watch another screen for another three or four hours a night. And our body's not getting any of the exercise that it needs. And as we just talked about with the lymphatic system, your body needs to move just to be able to get the toxins that you're creating during the day to release through your body. So it's a very vicious sort of cycle that once you get that far out of shape, it's very difficult to start to get back into shape. And what I love about this is that it's a very easy way to start to get people to kind of not only take responsibility for their health, but to do it in a very easy way. And not that it's all about trying to be easy and sort of the fast, cheap and easy way that we've created our entire culture. Um, but that it's a, it's a great way to get the exercise, to get your body uh, to do the work. And it really is, in my mind, it's a paradigm change about what it really takes to be in good shape. I mean, 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day on this seems like it's one of those things, well, how could you ever believe it? Usually when you hear about a 20-minute workout or a 30-minute workout, somehow that's going to change your life. Usually it's some sort of extreme sort of beach body workout where it's you know, high-intensity interval training or some sort of crazy intense workout where you're trying to pack a lot of work in a small period of time. But what's great about this is that your body gets the same exercise. Usually what happens with this, people have never been on this, the first thing that happens is they get a big grin on their face and they get a big smile because it sort of shocks them. They're not quite prepared for how powerful it is. But the next thing that happens is when they get off of it, they're surprised by how much energy they have. Like it really starts to flow that energy. And that's why I sort of joke about it as a gateway drug or a gateway to fitness because as your body starts to get in better health then you want to 
eat better, then you right. want to take better supplements. You want to drink more water. You start parking further away from the door at the grocery store. And so it's a great way for those people that, you know, it's very difficult for people that have been out of shape for a long time to make the commitment. Some of them are so self-conscious. They don't want to go to the gym. You know, they're not going to start training for a marathon. They don't want to go to the CrossFit gym and have to worry about having to flip tractor tires up and down the back alley or doing big kettle bars or whatever it is. So it's a really approachable way for people to really, you know, to get their body into the kind of shape that they want it to be in. Regardless of what your, your spiritual belief is about what happens when you die, one thing we can all agree to for sure, we're only getting one body this far around. So you've got to take care of it. It's the only thing that you're going to have until you die is this one body that we've been given. And the more that we can take care of it, the more tools that we can find like these to help people take care of it, that's what I want to be about, helping to sort of share that word with as many people as mm-hmm. All right. Good. I mean, I totally agree. Um, so help me choose between the three. If I decided, okay, I want to jump in, how do I decide which one I pick and why? Uh, well, I guess the first thing, uh, from a very practical standpoint, would be how much space do you have? Um, is, do you have a big space, a little space? Are you trying to be very efficient? If you're in a, um, uh, a teeny tiny apartment in Manhattan, uh, you know, this big VT500 would probably take up half of your kitchen. So uh, right. you want to try to figure out you know, how much space do you have? The other consideration is the number of people that will be using it and then the, the size of those people that will be using it. So okay. if I would say for the majority of people that are looking for something uh, that they're going to plan on using for at least one to two people that are somewhere between, let's say, 115 to 250-ish pounds, somewhere in that range. Uh, you would be completely fine with either of the 400 or the mini. A lot of people like to have the handles because it gives them something to hold on to, and it's got a little bit bigger platform, and like I said, that platform gives you a much better workout. So depending on, um, you know, if you had a number of people who were working out on it, however many hours a day it would be running, the 400 is usually where I get people to start, and then kind of like trade up or trade down depending on, whether they're really big or they're looking at it for more of a commercial application, or you know, if it's somebody that's very frail, um, you know, some the 500 for a lot of people is overkill. Uh, just it's too powerful for a lot of people. So the 400 is really good um, at being um, very um, sort of universal in its application. So it can start very slow. Uh, it also has a heart rate monitor on it too, Martin, which a lot of people like, which. You know, ironically, with, with whole body vibration, it's not aerobic exercise, which is part of why we have a rebounder, so that we can get the heart rate up as well. Um, but for most people, the 400 is a really good choice. Um, it's been around for probably about eight years, so it's got a lot of um, uh, history out there, and it's probably the most dependable one. I mean, we very rarely have anything that happens with either one of them. It's um, debugged. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, but if you've got space concerns and you don't need a handle, then the mini is a great option. Yeah. Um, usually what we do is we end up selling the mini to people that already have a bigger machine, like I said, because they're right. just looking for a smaller one yeah. to have somewhere else. I'm um, imagining I'm imagining that a dining room chair might almost do it for uh, something yeah. to hang on. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Or just cushions or whatever. I mean, there's a lot of different uh, ways that you can, you know, adjust them and make them uh, more comfortable, depending on the sort of workout that you're doing. All right. Got it. Yeah. Uh, I actually have run out of questions. Scott, do you have any? No, actually, I think we uh, we handled pretty much all of them. I think... uh, I'm fascinated by the fact that it has so many health benefits. I never would have thought that it would have done such a good job of toning. I'm, uh, I would have expected that it would have had an impact on the, on the bones and the density of the bones, but uh, using it for a, a nice, easy workout that's not actually easy uh, is, uh, is really quite exciting. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Well, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you having me on. It's a privilege. And uh, just want to encourage you guys to keep doing what you're doing. I think it's uh, Life Enthusiast, all the products that you guys bring to the market are very exciting. And uh, 
Looking forward to collaborating with you guys. Yeah, likewise. We're really pleased to have uh, run into you and that, that we are able to join forces. Fantastic. Excellent. Well, thanks so much. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, Todd. We really appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to uh, share all this important information. And uh, Martin, as Life Enthusiast Health Coach, if somebody wants to know more about uh, Vibrogen, what should they do? Well, call us here. We are at life-enthusiast.com. The phone number is 866-543-3388. We're here 12 hours a day. Call us. Thank you. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll see you next time. You've been watching or to the Life Enthusiast online video and TV network, restoring vitality to you. Bye-bye.